Alrighty, howdy there everybody. How is it going? Hope you all are doing well. Let me give that uh, music a pause there. Hey, hope you all are doing well. I'm excited to be here streaming tonight. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be playing some Curse of the Dead Gods. So, I've been having a lot of fun playing Hades, and so I've been looking for um, other games that are might be similar sort of like dungeon crawler RPG style games, and I came across Curse of the Dead Gods. So, yeah, which it sounded really cool. I'm really excited to play that. Um, yeah, and I'm going to get the game right up and running right now. Um, if... Cool. Let me just get to Streamlabs. Um, awesome. Sweet. So I'm getting the game going right now. Awesome. Cool. Like, let me just... Um, here we go. Game capture. Let me get the game window up and captured. There we go. Awesome. So you guys should be seeing the game. Awesome. Cool. Sweet. So, controller recommended. Awesome. So, before I get started, I just want to say, if you are enjoying the content, please be sure to give um, uh, the channel a follow. It really helps um, me as I'm working on my way towards affiliate. I'm about five followers away, so every single follow helps. Um, if you feel like chatting during the stream, feel free to leave something in the chat. I'm always happy to talk. And with that, let's... Check out the Curse of the Dead Gods. Oh, cool. So are these three guys, are these going to be the Dead Gods? So my understanding is sort of like Hades, but you're like a treasure hunter working through Aztec, like, temples. Okay. So I'm walking in. Yeah. And just as a heads up, just as a reminder to everybody, so I, this is a blind... Oh goodness. So this is a blind first playthrough. I've never played this game before. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't know what I just did. Okay, so it's A for the torch, X for the sword... And it's Y for a gun. Cool. Awesome. Well, it's starting me out with the torch. Okay. Don't know what any of this means. There we go. Can light that. Can I light up some? Okay. Doesn't look like I light up the instance at all. But no, as I was saying, this is a blind playthrough. I've never played this game before. I've never watched anyone play the game before. The most I've seen out of this game is... Um, I saw the trailer. Alright, let's see what this giant door is. Oh, okay. That <laughs> gave me a bit of a shock. Okay, loading. This looks pretty cool. Alright, I'm getting excited. Let's go beat up some enemies. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, I'm just jumpy right now. Light and darkness. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you stand in light or darkness. Use the torch action to equip and attack with your torch 
torch can spread fire to braziers or enemies I, I don't know if I pronounced that right elements on fire spread light around okay okay so I can light you up light you up dodge and stamina use dodge action to quickly roll and evade enemy attacks or traps each dodge requires you use one of your stamina points visible at the feet of your character once stamina is depleted you cannot dodge anymore stop attacking or dodging for a short time to quickly replenish stamina okay so that's okay so it replenishes pretty quickly I want to test this stuff out yeah while there are no enemies cool Oh, I have to do this ten times. Okay, cool. Use actions to equip and attack with your weapons. Chain multiple main attacks to trigger a powerful finisher. Use secondary attack to shoot with your ranged weapon. Finishers and range attacks require one stamina point. Okay, so cool. Ow, that hurt, man. Oh, goodness, okay. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Okay. Oh, shoot. I pressed A. I'm in Hades. A is the dash. There we go. And that's what you use to dodge. Shoot. Hold main attack for a while to, to trigger a charged attack. Requires one stamina point. Hold secondary attack for a while and then release at the perfect time to trigger a more damaging perfect shot. Chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks to trigger a unique offhand combo. No. There we go. Ow. Okay. So hold secondary attack. Okay, chain. So it's. And then I just have to defeat these guys. There we go. Okay. Advanced defense. Perfect dodge. Use the dodge action to evade enemy attacks. Successfully in evading an attack triggers a perfect dodge, which restores a stamina point. Use parry action at the very last moment to counter enemy attacks. A successful parry weakens the enemy. It will take more damage for a short time and restores two stamina points. Nice. So, I'm going to try to... So... Is that a dodge? No. These guys are freaky. Ow. Uh, I did not time that right. That's one dodge. There we go. That's two dodges. I tried the parry. That didn't work. Nope. Didn't time that right. There we go. End of training. If you want to continue to the end of the room to start your journey through the temple. If you want more practice time, use interaction on the central marker of the room to call for more training enemies. I think I'm good. So if I change, I'm in darkness. Okay. What's this? Jade rings. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods who to those who overcome the trials of the temple jade rings are bound to your character and persist even after death 
After each exploration, you can trade Jade Rings in the Underworld to gain access to new gear. So is this like Hades? Am I trying to escape the Underworld? Crystal Skulls are powerful artifacts you can collect from fallen enemies. They're bound to your character and persist even after death. Between each upgrade, you can trade Crystal Skulls in the Underworld in exchange of permanent upgrades. Okay, that's really good. I'll take all these. Cool. Each temple is an assembly of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the act main reward you can expect to find in it. Each time you complete a room, you can choose your path and progress through the temple. Use the map action during your exploration to consult temple layout. Okay, so I can go for weapon, gold, or gold. Let's just go for weapon. Don't know what this does. Maybe it'll give me a better weapon? Entering the fiery halls. Watch out for the corruption gauge at the bottom right of your screen. Each door you go through will increase your corruption. For each full gauge, you will become corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. Wait, save available? Codex. Bestiary. Lurkers. Okay, so I have lurkers. Okay. Statistics. Okay, cool. Okay, light this. Nope. Ow. That hurt. Ow. That was not what I intended to do. Okay. Oh, that's oil. Just trying to light this room up. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't get what these greed kills mean. I need to dodge that. Oh, this is a big guy. Okay, ready? Okay, I need to use this dodge more. I'm out of stamina. Oh, and I'm in the darkness. Oh, they can destroy these lights. There we go. Greed kills. I have to... The greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to increase your greed kill count and the number of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges and parries refill the timer. Greed kill re series resets. The timer drops off or if you take damage. Okay. Let's just get some light. What's this? Offerings. When you interact... With the weapon, relic, or attributes all for you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get it for free at the cost of some corruption. Okay, keen bow. Grenades. Oh, so this is offering corruption. I don't have the gold for this. I'm not ready to be cursed yet. I'm dying so easily right now. This is a completely different system from Hades. Alright, let's get gold. I should have gone for gold the first round in hindsight, but that's okay. This is a learning experience. Alright. I see lots of gold here. Okay, this is... which is my dodge? That's my dodge. Oh, that deals a lot of damage. Okay. He's got chain two dodges together right there. Oh. I 
need to... Bad guys? What's this? Let's just Obsidian Fragments, Relic Eagle. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, cool. So can check the code at wait, that's the map. Okay. So bestiary. Death Wives and Headless Guardians. Nice. Okay. Oil soaked to torch. Cool, so you can get relics. this seeker's mace offer to the gods for 50 I'll just take it it's better oh it's slower though oh so once I equip it I can't I sh okay so darkness is not my friend here Your gold shield. <laughs> cool, that hardly restored anything. Healing? I'll take healing. Well, I'm corrupted. Okay, so you just naturally inflict c curse. Mortal harvest? Life essence of those who sully the sacred temples is not wasted. The value of blood is far greater than that of precious metals when used wildly. Urns no longer contain gold but are filled with blood. Blood heals but inflicts corruption. Okay. Each time your You fill your corruption gauge, you are cursed. Curses add modifiers to the classic game rules and last until the end of the run. Beware the fifth and final curse, for it will highly jeopardize your chances of success. They're just like little evil whispers I'm hearing. I had to ch check. Okay. Save available. Okay, so I can save and quit is what's saying, but I don't want to. Okay, so mortal harvest. Okay, cool. Okay, so I, my torch does nothing. I'll have my machete out. What is this? Oh, so I can heal up for in exchange for corruption. Okay, this is creepy. Next, unknown, sure. Okay, let's get out of these weird whispery halls. Oh my gosh, I'm almost corrupted already. Oh wait, I should get light on. Oh, that's explosive. Okay, good to know. Is that just the leg? Oh, it's just like hacked apart body parts. This is lovely. This is Cosmic Churro, everybody. Welcome to the Wholesome Family Channel. Okay. Don't get hit by enemies. Shoot, I got hit by enemies.
Well, I got hit. That was kind of worthless. All right. Oh, dang, I've almost got a second curse on me. This is not going well. You're fast. Okay. There we go. Harry, this you filthy casual. Cool. Can I light this again? There we go. Ooh, a crystal skull. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's another monster right there. Sure, I'll take it, yeah. that All right, I'm gonna time a parry ready oh that did not work take this gold with me what are you oh my gosh oh my gosh you, you just get healed Stamina. Dang, I'm taking a lot of health. Oh, I'm out of bullets. I don't know. Wow, I took a lot of damage there. Attributes. Let's see what attributes do. I have no idea what this does. Oh, and I get cursed again. Dancing flames. There is much in common between a pretender and flame. They are both driven by a hunger to consume all within their grasp. Flamethrower traps activate automatically if you stand in front of them. That's great.
take it, yeah. Oh goodness, there are a lot of you evil queens. Okay. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Dang. Defeat the blood mon- Alright, uh, next. Wow. Okay, well that ended quickly. I don't feel like I made it very far. The underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Use the interaction icon near the central s steel in the main hall to access the underworld. There you can offer crystal skulls and jade rings to the gods to unlock new upgrades. All underworld upgrades are persistent and will remain after death. Cool. Okay, so I can take chip dagger or blunt claws. Okay, so let's activate this. Let's see what... Blessings are powerful passive abilities that will help you during subsequent explorations. Unlock blessings, then equip one in each available blessing slot. Return to the underworld after each exploration to change your current blessings. Okay. Okay, fire illuminates farther. That sounds decent. Blessing Jaguar? Eagle. Forsaken Weaponry. War Makana. Dang, okay. Okay, weapon altars. Let you refresh the gear offered in weapon and relic shrines. Perception, sure, let's unlock this. There we go. I got an achievement unlocked, a belief. Alright, this is a kind of crazy game, not gonna lie. Alright, um. Okay, so I'm in. Am I in the Aztec underworld, or is this Mayan, or. I don't know what this is. I'm stuck in here. Can I just leave? I'm gonna keep dying. Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the pathway I entered on. That's a lot of skulls. You know, all the skulls were probably, um... You know, a warning for this guy. Alright, sure, let's just keep going. Um, the Blood Hunter Blunt, or Blood Hunter Hunts, Introduction into the Temple of the Jaguar. The Storm Throne, Introduction to the Temple of the Eagle. Bewitched Catacombs, Introduction to the Temple of the Serpent. Let's just go Temple of Jaguar. Alright, gold is... I need gold to buy things, so let's just go this way. Is it just me or does the, the Jaguar... Look kinda like um, Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. Shoot, 
I wanted to light this. There we go. Okay. Wow, I lost a lot of life already. What is this? Smith and Wesson Schofield. Let's take it. Let's grab some gold. So what's my big goal in all this? Wow, I've already got 40 corruption. Try to lead them into this room where there's light. Well, they give you curse when. I have to constantly relight these things. Or these guys just bring darkness. Man, I'm gonna be cursed already. Walk into the next room. It's like, congratulations, bud. What did you want for Christmas? A curse? Well, lucky you. There we go. Okay. Darkness, and I'm in light. I'm losing a lot of health. I think I need to learn how to dodge better. Okay, I gotta use the dodge more often. Oh no, run. Okay, that was close, that was really close. All right, let's go for gold. Yep, I've been corrupted. Wow, it took one room and I'm corrupted again. Raging temple, what does this mean? I'm not even gonna try, Zbelzagalzalox controls the servants of the gods he's defeated. Okay, all the Jaguar statues now trigger fireballs. Okay. Okay, I've seen this before. You know what? Sure, why not? Um, that's really good. Yes, every time I pass through a door, regain 4% of my total max health. Down for that. Okay. I need to learn to dodge. Oh no, it's one of those priestess gals. 